Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Gamble Tower, a roguelike deck builder that I can only assume is centered heavily around risk-reward mechanics, which is something that I am, of course, into. So let us check it on out. Select your first clan of... Okay, of ladies who look relatively similar here. Human. Okay. A lot of different equipment, gadgets, tricky spells, special orbs. I mean, this is... Obviously, we don't know anything about it. Let's go with the demon for now. Select your second clan. Ah, so we got like a primary, secondary thing. We got demon with a... How about let's do a demon with a little bit of an elf secondary. I'm a boy. All right. Using orbs. I am... Ar this man is vibrating over there. This is... This, this game is putting out a vibe that I, I feel like I've nef never felt... <laughs> ever before. Wow. Okay. To use an orb, you must hold the left mouse button, then drag it, drop it onto the target that you wish, which you want to use it. Orbs use mana. Check mana and burnt orbs for details. All right. Elven song. So we have. Okay. So where's our mana? Our mana is right down here. Gotcha. We've got like two and a half. Sleep spell. Magic spark attacking fine. Red gemstones are called the attack orbs. Okay, okay. Drag them to your enemies to perform attacks using your own character. Okay. Your base attack is shown in the top left of your heads up display up there. Okay, gotcha. The orb's extra damage is shown on the orb tooltip. Okay. Besides the usual effect that this orb may have, all attack orbs have an extra attack attribute, which will be added to the base attack. Okay, this is the final attack damage. It'll also be reduced by your target's defense. Okay, we'll have to just process that as it comes. Enemies will attack when you finish your turn, starting from left to right. Their attacks may flick you with ailments and effects, so beware. Okay. Man, he vibing. Okay, okay. All right, so this is certainly got some different uh, vibes down here. What is this? Banned orbs. Every orb that get, gets gets consumed or banned during combat can be found here. Capture gemstone. Drag this onto a fainted en enemy to capture it. What? Magic spark. So this seems like uh, what we do when we need to generate mana. A random summoned creature from your team attacks immediately after you. I don't know if I have it, any summoned creatures. Drag this to a fainted enemy to capture it. So we have two of those. So that seems to be the deal here. We want to we want to find a way to to kill our enemies and capture them. Gotcha. A random summoned enemy attacks after you. I mean, that's not something we need to worry about right now. My god. Okay. All right. So then we could theoretically use that as well, but it's not permaband. I gotcha. So that this was a draw. All right. All right. All right. Do we want to use Elven Song on a uh, enemy? Theoretically, we should have Elven Song, and then we should have done the zero cost to generate the mana. If you use it on an ally, heal them. If it's used on an enemy, apply eight weaken and then consume. You know what? Yeah, sure. And then I assume we can't use these. Magnetic crystal, it's always in your first hand on capture. Right-click to burn orbs to restore mana. Okay. So, obviously, that's not really going to be great. So, that sends them to our discard pile. Are those, like... They're still here, though, aren't they? Okay. All right, end turn is where? All the way up there. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Curious. So we took zero, and now we draw all this. Lesser Fiend. Summon the Lesser Fiend, Demon Claw. Okay. All right, I'm with it. So we do that, and then we can Demon Claw. So we'll attack for five. We'll attack plus two. So we'll attack for seven. And then this boy will attack with us. Gotcha. Ooh. Okay. Theoretically, we should be able to uh, just straight up kill here anyways. All right. Okay. Spoils. 82 coins. He vibing straight to straight to hell right there. Okay. 
Oh my. I'm assuming he's supposed to be that, Wiggly. Okay. Orb shop. Random event, something... This is... This is very intriguing. This is very... Like, just the, the presentation... All of this is very... Strange. But... I'm... I, give, give me... Give me 20 minutes. I might... I might love it. I'm not sure. Give me 20 minutes. I, it's very bizarre. That is for sure. I can tell you that without thinking about it. Your pet holds your pouch. Click it anytime to check your full... Your full pouch. Okay. Understood. That's my... I mean, it's my deck. Gambler. He will talk to you before you go to the next floor. Might as well talk to him before. Random event. Let's get the random event. Do we only get to pick one of those? Oh! We got random... Randomly got enemied. Add a summon orb from your burnt pile to your hand. So we can summon a lesser fiend, Necromancy, to pull this back into our hand. Necromancy again to summon yet another. We can burn the Elven Song so that we can then Demon Claw. Which will make us attack, and then our monsters will attack with us. And then we can Magic Spark to regenerate our mana back. But then we can capture this enemy... So we now have a lost goblin that's a neutral summon that we can also summon down. What the hell, dude? Burn it. Okay. So your deal is you're going to attack and apply you're going to apply weaken. Dang. We we're boy, necromancer uh, is right. We are a necromancer as hell. Apply one weaken. I mean, that's fine. Okay. You just killed your friend. Okay. So then they can go to... The, this necromancy business is, uh, pays well. Alright, so let's drop down you. We should be able to attack here. We should absolutely get a free kill. Then, like... Theoretically, we could do this. We generate our mana and we could uh, go for another one here. Interesting. Wow, okay. All right. Strategically, it's got some fun loops to it already. Extra battle. Orb shop. What you got? I'm curious how complex the cards get. I will say, I don't love that we have to scroll to see everything that a card provides. I don't love that. Add a summon orb from your pouch to your hand. It costs minus three until the end of combat. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Mana bolt. If an enemy is killed, add two mana. Awesome. Clean every status effect from the target. Add two mana. Move the target to the front. An elf summon. When a, the summon creature is killed, add an orb from your pouch or burnt pile to your hand. Oh, I wonder if there's any way... I bet you there's some way we could sacrifice units. I will say I kind of want... I kind of want this. Here's the gemstone. <laughs> Here's the gemstone. Look at... Oh my god, look at this man. He is like... He's creeping me out big time. You're welcome. All right. Uh... We have a fiendish mask. Okay, this is something... This is a passive of our thing here, I guess. Open the tutorial. I like that they have the tutorials pop up as you uh, hover over stuff That's that makes it relevant. That's cool. I like that. That's a clever way of doing that. Instead of just being like, learn, learn, learn. I like that. Artifacts provide unique passive effects during combat and come in three different types. Bad artifacts. Good artifacts. Okay. <laughs> artifact orbs. A variant of a good artifact with stronger effects but needs to be manually placed as an orb during combat. Wow. That's a really clever idea. Wow, that's a really... I, I don't know if I've... I don't know if I've ever seen that particular concept employed in a roguelike deck builder. Not not quite like that. So it's, a, it's your passive. You can make it stronger, but in the process of making it strong, you have to play it like a card in combat, so you might not have it permanently. Uh, that's that's very interesting. 
They can be bought, removed, or transformed with the help of the artifact shopkeeper, as long as you can provide her with a service fee, of course. I'm very, very interested in, in seeing her. He'll talk to you before you go to the next floor. Might as well talk to him before. Wait, fine. I will talk to him before. Choose your gambles. All right. Before starting... Oop. You definitely should turn down the opacity on the background a little bit. This is... I'll do my best to read this here. Before starting a new combat, you're presented with a new set of gambles. that are randomly generated challenges that can provide great rewards. Failing will result in a punishment. Re failed. You die. You are forced to take. You are forced to take at least one gamble. There is the gamble in the gamble tower. However, you may choose multiple ones if you're feeling confident. You can always check which gambles you have on the HUD. Failing will result in big punishments that may even ruin your run. Uh oh. Except for your initial draw, you draw one less orb. One less orb each turn. I feel like I can deal with that. Penalty of dying? That's fine. Every enemy starts with a back focus skill. I don't... Oh, wait. I, I imagine that means they target me instead of my allies. That actually does seem like it sucks. Kill two enemies on the same turn. If there are not enough enemies, we'll summon extra goblins. Bring it on, dude! Okay, well, now that we know we have to add that extra challenge, maybe I will take, a, take another... <laughs> take another peek here. Uh... So I don't know if we want to go for Elven Burn since it, it takes draw and we are not running into that much mana issues. That much mana issues. Clean status effects. No, I think we're... I think I'm satisfied. Orb removal service is very interesting. How much does it cost? 50. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Ditch it. Ditch it. Let's go aggro as hell, dude. Thanks for stopping by. For stopping by. <laughs> I love that shopkeeper. I don't... <laughs> something's, uh, something's charming about him. Oh. He's vibe, boy. Okay, so add a summon orb from your pouch to your hand. It costs minus three. Drop him down. Boom. Free summon. Free summon. Holy moly. Okay, so we can actually just ditch that. Okay, we cannot... Okay. I... Oh, so he's a tank. So he's got a passive. Cannot... All right. Understood. But we actually might be able to kill him on one turn. No, because only one of the allies. You can't capture this, right? It has to be fainted. All right. Then we'll trash that. Next. So we have to get a multi-kill. That's going to be tougher than I anticipated. Especially since our allies... Oh, no. Our allies are actually... They're making it pretty... Okay. This should be fine. Ooh. Yeah. This is actually... Okay. This is not going to be hard. I don't think. Add a summon from your burn pile to your hand. Wait. So is this in my deck forever oh so we okay so we only get two of these and they're they are permaban gotcha okay so i probably shouldn't have captured that Ooh. We should be able to take this down anyways. Too many... We've reached our creature limit. Okay. All right. All right. Man, I wonder what the other characters are like. Because this is a very necromancy forward character right now. I wonder if the... It probably isn't as big of a thing for all the other characters. Hopefully this counts as... It did not count. Oh, no. Because it... Okay, so I ended my turn... And then my monster's attacking. So I guess that probably means if the, my monster's attack last turn and then I killed after, it probably would have been good. You may choose to take the artifact as it is or orbify it for free of charge. The first time an orb is burned each turn, add a mana. Why would we orbify it? 
Oh, whenever, whenever an orb is burned, not just the first time. Um, I don't really have the. That's see, this is a really interesting choice because then we might not draw it. We're also kind of like quasi garbaging our deck a little bit. This is such a clever mechanic. This is such a clever mechanic. I am gonna go. That being said, I. It's a tough choice, but I think due to the fact that we're not currently having mana issues, it is the least of our concerns at the moment. I did get bodied. I, I took... Since I didn't get the double kill there, we are down to 50. Which is rough. Hey. <laughs> Hi there, buddy. Upgrading orbs with crystals. By visiting the crystal merchant, you may buy crystals to upgrade your orbs by default... An orb can fit up to three crystals. Certain crystals have specific properties that only function in specific orb types. Attack orb only deals seven damage to the target. Straight up. When used, the orb will remain in your hand and cost plus one mana until the end of combat. Oh. Oh. Special orbs only. Can I not view my deck from here? Pressing all my hotkeys here. I don't think I can view it from here. So is this a special... That's Now that's a summon. Uh, I mean, it's kind of fun with Necromancy. I don't think we're going to do it. It's basically, do I want to go for the attack? Let's go for the random event first. What? 25 HP reward. So we can choose to not do that if we want. I mean, that's cool. Because there's some situations where you don't want that health, I guess. Big number. So we already have a becrystalled one. Let's spread it out. Seems nice to have a zero cost spell. Do that extra damage? Okay, here we go. Oh, no, come back here. <laughs> coin flip. Do a coin flip at the start of combat. If the result is heads, you win. Oh my god. <laughs> it failed. Two sleep to allies. If succeed, a random pile of coins. Oh my god. Oh my god. The god. <laughs> Look at that. The fact that I can do that is so funny. <laughs> Fine. Fine. All right. No. Oh. Poop. Apply two sleep to you and your summon. Uh... When the target was going to act, stop the action and decrease sleep by one instead. Oh, that doesn't count as an act. Uh-oh. Rough stuff. So we shouldn't have trashed that then. Eh, it doesn't really matter. An extra seven. Good. Good enough. Oh, shoot. I forgot about ice. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that this would force me to not be able to. In my head, I was like, they'll just remove the other cards as an option. But no. I actually, I do prefer it this way. But I'm going to be extremely punished. This is like, yeah. Okay. 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 So you have to... It, it makes sense. It makes entire sense. But you have to be up... Like, it's it's up to you to do that. Oh, my God. Incredible, though. This is incredible. I, I'm shocked at how cool this is. Okay, let's drop you in. 
we got a kill here. Like, we're all things considered, we're doing just fine. And then we could even do a double of those. You know, we're just doing this because we need a challenge. We just need, we just need a challenge, man. So did we lose the 100 now? <gasps> oh, we got the... Okay, so we lost our money and we didn't really have very much that we were losing. God, I, I love the combination of, like, the 3D doors and these 2D, like, almost watercolor... I don't know. What is it? It's, it's not... Why, why do I... Why does the word rotoscope come to mind? It's not rotoscope. Just like model rigging to, to the character animation. It, it's very... It's very... Very interesting. Certainly a vibe I've never seen. And then the UI is like Final Fantasy 14, Like, son of a gun looking stuff. Uh, okay. What do we want to do? What's the plan here? Whatever we do, we shouldn't take uh, a coin flip, probably. Spoils. Three random orbs. You get to choose one. Okay. This is so much. Uh, elf attack. Elf attack. Ooh, a two, two crystal does an extra 15 damage, though. It's pretty nifty. I'm going to I'm going to take another necromancy though. I really like this kind of um mono focus on the summons. I think that's an interesting way to play this. To the artifact shop. Hello there. At, on the start of combat, one mana cost to all summon orbs in your hand until the end of combat. Why would we want... Wait, what? On the start of combat, one mana cost... Oh, it's minus... Okay, the... Okay. The uh, the phrasing on that is not... Or, like, the... The wrapping on the, that is not very good. That that dash in the upper right is supposed to be a minus to the... Minus one mana cost. That definitely needs to be shuffled over there. Oh, my God. And the UI here is so... There's so much oozing style on the start of combat apply sleeping to it we, we can't afford this stuff select an orbified artifact to free from its orb select an artifact what would the orb be minus two okay it makes it twice as effective minus two cost to all summon orbs in your hand until the end of combat when we play it and then on the start of the turn that happens too oh you know what let's play a, let's play around with it let's orbify it let's you know you know it's such a cool mechanic let's mess with it all right time to gamble and die on a coin flip spawn two lost goblins at the start of your turn every turn Win without using special orbs. Let's go big. Go home. Good luck. Let's go die, man. Let's go die. Holy! Okay, there, there's a there's a ah, there's a play here, but we can't get through the tank. Oh god, this is just a it's just a bad draw. Not a good draw. All demon claws with no summons. Uh, and I can't kill anybody. I can't kill you because we have the tank up there, you see. So, Fiendish Mask has already screwed us a little bit. Call from the orb will be removed on the end of combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it already screwed us a little bit there. The good news is I guess we can get all of our attacks out. The bad news is every other part of the situation here just making sure i can't do that trash it oh boy this is not gonna be good not a good draw not a good draw but yeah see that's the thing that's the downside of turning that into an orb is 
that we wouldn't have drawn that. We would have drawn something else. Oh my dang. Ouch. Well, there's everybody when I can't afford them. Okay, let's... Okay. It's an army. Me and what army? Summons... Okay, spawn two Lost Goblins at the start of your turn. I mean, now that we have our army going on, I think that it's not going to be too bad. What do you guys do? You just, I, you're obviously doing attacks. You apply weakness when you... Is it whenever you hit? Okay, does it stack to make us do even less damage? It looks like it does. That sucks. That actually kind of hard counters us a little bit since it's an AoE and it reduces the damage that every single one of my units is doing. And this guy has armor? All of that together is actually adding up to suck. From your pouch. I don't have any summon in my pouch. Yeah, drawing that guy here is really not good either. Creature limit. Okay, let's go with... You know, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll drop you down like that. Because we want to have... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Actually, we do no damage. We have to do this. We do jack squat otherwise. Okay. Uh-oh. And I can't place this. Maybe we could, like, sacrifice one somehow. Probably not, though. Ouch. Ouch. That weakened, though. That seven extra damage was very helpful. That's from the crystal that we added on. Here comes two more of these boys. Right? No? Where are the goblins? Did we luck out? Or do they show up at the end of the turn? Wait. Lost goblin. There they are. Okay, yeah, the uh, the weaken. Ooh, wait a minute. That weaken. Okay, well, the good news is... Let's drop you down because you have not been weakened yet. So this this should actually start to be really good. We can... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spread it just in case... Yep, my, that was my hope, is that he would attack him instead. Awesome capturing enemies. Do we want to? I don't know if I want another Lost Goblin. Let's go with this. I want you. You're different. Ooh, he's a three cost. On attack, apply one weak into the target. I mean, that's... Yeah, that sounds awesome. We should get two back for that. Oh, but we can't play him! God, this is so cool. What the heck? Wait, what's happening? Did I bug? Did I make a bug? I think I made a bug. It is a demo. It seems to think... Uh, I, I think I messed it up because it thinks that I have a spot to uh, to place it down. Ah, uh, but I don't. I caused the problem. Understandable, though. It is a wor work in progress demo. Bup, 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 bup. You know what it actually call here, here's what we'll try. We'll quit to the menu. Your progress in this in this run so far will not be saved when you return. Yeah, understandable. Again, like hopefully when the when it's out that will be a thing. But I, I think I've I've janked it. But I'm actually kind of happy about it in a weird way. You might think I'm lying, but what if we use that as an opportunity to see how different the other class is? Let's try that out. I think that this is actually a good... Uh, this is a good thing in disguise. First of all, that's a bummer. That sucks. I'm sure it'll be fixed, though. So, I'm not too worried about it. It's like it's such one of those things is such an obvious bug that I don't think it'll make it into the early access release or anything. And I want to see what is up with this character. What the hell? I, okay, I was expecting them to be really basic boring. 
human clan. If your character has no weapon, draw an orb. Attack for one. So we have this. So let's let's attack just straight up. So we draw an orb. If you have one le less than one mana, add a mana. This seems really good. Okay. When this when the equipped character kills an enemy, draw two orbs. Unequip the weapon. Wait. When the equipped character. So you can even you can put this on your summonables? You can put this on your summons? That's nuts. Looks like it added five damage too. Yellow stones are called equipment orbs. It contain different kind of armory and weaponry that can be equipped on your characters. Okay. Change your base stats such as attack and defense. Also provide additional armor and effects. Gotcha. Understood. Okay, so we get these summons on every character. That's good to know. I don't know why. I just wanted a friend. So then we drew the two extra. Okay. Card cycling god. What? All right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, what the heck? Oh, it's an artifact that's been orbed. On the start of your turn, generates one deep logic and adds it to your hand. I don't know what that means. Apply two automated, automatically performs X extra actions on the enemy's turn. What does that mean? <laughs> that sounds cool. There's the sword again. Boast. Apply tank to target. Add five armor to the target. Yeah, I like it as an idea for later. I need to know what this means. Here's the gemstone. Be seeing you. I, I love that man. I want you but wait but we can't capture him because he's alone right like if i can i put it on him for later no like just like when he dies i want to capture okay we want to do this so we draw okay we got our summon neat let's cycle that out This is weird. Okay. All right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I wanted to, to weaken you and put armor on you, but you're going to take zero damage anyways. Nice. Oh, and he has, innately has two armor. I didn't realize that. Okay. And we can even buff them up. God, that's so cool. We can give them the sword. On attack, apply three fury to the target. Increases target's attack. Wait, on the next turn, this character will buff or help itself or allies in some way. It's going to give fury. Ah, okay. Okay, so it's not... We can't rely on it to attack every turn because it has its own innate things that it tries to do. Even more weaken. 15 times. Decreases by one when it attacks. This guy can't. This guy's never going to be able to do anything. But this is good that we applied the sword to our ally. You know what I'm saying? Because now we can do this for ourselves. Put on the human sword to us. Theoretically, we like if there was a more fight to do, this would have been incredible. Okay. I see you, game. I see you. What the hell? What else was in the orb shop? We have a hundred bucks now. 
I don't know what automate is. I want another sword. I just want to play around with it. All right, let's gamble it all. Every enemy starts with back focus. Hmm. Kill at least one enemy on your first turn. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm a gambling boogeyman. No, I don't play fair. This is not going to go well. Let's do it. So we have to kill one on our first turn. I actually don't think that'll be that bad now, looking at this. Actually. Can we double? Oh, that kills. All right, well, the good news is we're fine. We got the kill here. That's fine. It's not, it just, it did not go how I wanted, obviously. I am going to capture you, because that sounds really fun. Wait, oh. That gave us a sleep staff. Oh. So we might get one of their weapons instead. Oh my god. This game keeps getting wilder and wilder. The first time you attack per turn, apply one sleeping to the target. That's incredible. Okay, what's, what does this exactly do? Is it eight turns? Eight turns that it gives us three armor, or is it eight hits? What is it? I'm not sure. I don't know what automated is. <laughs> Let's find out. I don't know if this is something we want to do on, on us or them. I don't know what you mean. Ooh. So it makes us do two random actions. It's straight it's straight up is it it's exactly what it sounded like. That's incredible. That's such a neat neat status effect. Just do two random actions. Don't mind if I do. Alright, um Our weapon our damage is five. We need to kill two. So we do three damage. And then we do three damage on a second attack. All right, there, I think we have this. We just need to make sure we're cycling. Oh, okay. Well, even if we if we didn't have it, we absolutely did anyways. Okay, awesome, awesome. I gotta be real. I might, I might like the human class better, which is never the case for me. The equipment juggling is actually very clever and a very fun way to take a, the class that um, theoretically would be the normal vanilla boring kind of class that'd be super simple and take it into a much more clever juggle, like a kind of juggling act kind of a character class, which I, I, I'm enjoying. I did not think I would like it as much as the summoner, but maybe we'll even want to ditch out and then see what we could do with... Um, the demon class or the uh, elf class as a primary till the end of combat add two defense to the target apply tank to the target mm. some cool stuff i don't think we need to modify any of our things with that it's all kind of expensive it's a bear trap <laughs> I had to. Fog machine. On the start of combat, apply one protected to a random ally. Or... It's an active that applies three protected to a random ally.
the fact that all these artifacts have their own like 3D models too, like this this incredibly like is working for me. Like th this bizarro mixed media like eclectic collection of art styles feels like it shouldn't work at all, but it it is. It's like holy moly. Absolutely. Absolutely. God, look at all the do this or you die. God, I like it's innately so so gamble centric. Shock ah. Very, very gamble centric. Okay, we need to kill somebody on our first turn. So we are protected. Okay, we got our sword. I want to. I want to draw stuff. I think we still want to keep drawing for a bit here. I'll, I'll. I'll cycle that out. I'm a. I'm a son of a gun. I. I can go for it. Um. Sword into magic spark for guaranteed ten damage. There. Don't mind if I do. Well, we can equip ourselves, automate, so we might be able to do something on their turn. We might even... We could even win. If we attack here... No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can really speed it up if you want. I want to drop it back down to, to one time speed. See, so look at that. Yeah, we got that freebie there. Don't mind if I do. Has loot. Nice. All right, we have so much drawn here. I want to just cycle, and then we can, I mean, why mess? We have lethal. Does punch add anything? It adds one. Super cool. We got two capture gemstones, which I love. Love that mechanic. So, uh, looks very excited for some reason. Appears to be a vending machine of some sort. Gotcha. Put one coin in Steve Axe. You may get good stuff or bad stuff. Or absolutely nothing. Die. Roll a six-sided die. Your damage is repeated by the die's value. If you roll a one, you take the damage you inflicted. I'm going to discard that. No, thank you. That's super cool. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Wishful Sprite. Um, We don't have that many summons. I actually don't even want that in my deck. I feel like we shouldn't be doing this. Yo. What happens if we... What do we even have here? At uh, the start of your turn, draw one orb. Draw one orb, and then at the start of your turn... Draw two orbs. Okay. I'll try that out. That, se that seems like a really good economical thing to do. Don't got nothing for that. Alright, fine. Prohibited coal. The first time you use an orb per turn, banish one random orb from the player's hand. Cannot be discarded. Okay. I didn't learn my lesson, though. Boast. Apply tank. I will take that, I think. I did not learn my lesson. Don't worry. On attack, draw an orb. Unequip the weapon from the target. From target? Ugh. <clears throat> Apply one piercing to the target. Interesting. I didn't learn. I I gotta know. Can we orbify this bad one? Oops. 
cannot be orbified. Understood. That makes sense. I was just curious if it was like... Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I think we can do that too. First turn killer, no summons. No summons, no summons, no summons, no summons. Oh, no. oh my, of course. Of course it's the freaking tank. Alright, well we're not going to get the first turn killer. We'll lose 50 coins. The good news is, uh, guess what? I don't have any money anyway, so ha. I can't even... I, I don't have any ability to attack. We just... We do too many equipment items. Ouch. Failure. It's... It ain't called no gambling tower. Summonless. Trash it. Trash it so I don't do it on accident. I can apply that to myself? I can. Oh, this is awkward. Because I don't want to have a weapon. Did we discard the sword? Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. So what is this piercing that we got here? I'm assuming it's one... We we can go through one armor. Yeah, look at that piercing visual we got on us, too. And also, we're sleeping. Oh, were we sleeping? Wait. Oh, no. Were we sleeping last time? I think that might be the case. So we were sleeping there. Shouldn't do. Shouldn't have done anything. Okay. I want to draw. Okay. T trash that and automate. We got a weapon on. We got armor on. We're, we're pretty, like, set in a weird way. But. Ow. Oof. So we were sleeping. Okay. Do we have our equipment? We do not, right? We we must. We have 10 attack. Where do we see our equipment? It's right here. Okay, it's right there. Gotcha. Do that. So it's only when we kill... That's right. It's only when we kill that we discard it. Gotcha. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Cool. We didn't, uh, you know, we didn't summon. That's something. We lose out on the money, but I don't know if we actually do. Generate a random neutral orb. It costs zero till the end of combat. E Fine. Just to see more orbs in the game. Normally, I probably... I don't really like to take stuff like that. In my roguelike deck builders, I want to be very uh, intentional, but... Orb shop. I'm curious if there's a boss, so I kind of... Since we're nearing the end of the video here, I'm kind of wanting to speed run it. Piercing crossbow. Pipe 5 piercing. Repeat... Oh, wait. Okay, so piercing is... Repeat the next X damage... Inflicted, halved by two to all enemies. Okay. What? So it turns the next attack a that they take AOE. That's incredible. Elven Pride, apply five Fury to the target, increases the next attack by five. Decreases by one with the next attack. So it goes, increases it by five, then the next turn four, the next turn three. Wow, okay. That's actually really clever. All right. We don't have the money for it. But again, like I said, I kind of want to blitz up here. 
Start of your turn, all enemies gain one automated. Ugh. I don't like any of these, but th these are all really rough. Usually it feels like we can draw one that's not too bad, but they're not so much. Have to attack the tank. All right. Bye-bye. You're super dead. Oh, God. No damage. Thank you. This is... What's happening here? We're going to probably actually die now that I'm looking at how many of these suckers there are. All right. Do we have a weapon on? We don't. Cycle me. Oh, my God. Was I sleeping? I must have been sleeping. That is... That is rough. This whole fight is incredibly rough. Like, I can't attack the backline with this, can I? Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Not good. How can I do anything if they can... Well, I guess I can just play... If I can play two cards in the same turn. Oh, my God. Everybody got two Fury. Enrage allies. And then he... Yep. And then he inflicted sleep. Oh, boy. I guess we'll get rid of that garbage. It's fine. And by garbage, I mean we'll get rid of that even though it's totally not garbage. Oh, boy. Okay. I, I, I suspect death here due to... Yeah, no, of course we die here. The fact that we get slept, like, they apply sleep on every hit to uh, that one in the back is bonkers. But hey, this game is super cool. Obviously, I you know, I'm not going to say that the, the balance of that fight is way out of whack, but I am going to say that that certainly seemed bizarre. What I am going to do really quick is I am going to click the elf just to see what their deck looks like. Okay, hold on. This is all stuff that we've seen before. Ah, okay. So... Okay, okay. I didn't know if there was a difference between the primary and the secondary cards. There is no difference between the primary and the secondary. Gotcha. Okay. Well, then I don't feel like I need to do this after all. Uh, but that is awesome. Uh, game's cool. I can't wait to see how they develop it further. It's it's very, like... It's so strange in a cool way. Like, a lot of very clever ideas, weird ideas combined in one place and... Same goes for the art style. Like, the art style very much mimics that concept. Uh, and I'm excited by this game. I think it's very cool. The roguelike deck builder genre is something that, you know, there's a lot of games in it, you know, in the genre, like a ton. So when a game does anything to stand out in any capacity, like this game certainly has, it's a it's a blessing. So that is that. That's going to do it for today. If you want Gamble Tower, uh, go wishlist it. Link at the top of the description. And uh, even if you're not sure if you'll get it or not, go do that anyways. It'll help out the game quite a bit. It's completely free. Speaking of completely free, you can subscribe to the channel. I put out videos on indie games every single day. Oh my god, this music is... Even the music, too. Like, everything is so eclectic and wild that I, I can tell it's intentional, though, you know? It's, it's obviously intentional. But yeah, if you want the game for yourself, wishlist it. There's a free demo out right now on the Steam Next Fest. So, uh, got no excuse if you, if you liked what you saw. You can go download it for free and play it. Uh, but hey, my name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty on roguelikes. So if you like the genre, you definitely should be subscribed because great new games every single day. Every single day. Straight to your face. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.